Hey, awesome people, welcome to another episode of So Addicts. As you guys can already tell, today's episode is gonna be a little bit different though. I'm gonna be showing you guys a tour of the So Addicts studio, and this video is probably not gonna be too long because uh, my space is really kind of small, but I'm kind of super excited to show you guys what uh, I do, how I do it, basically how I create my videos, shoot them, edit them, do my voiceover and all that stuff, and how I'm constantly pushing creative videos out to you guys every week. I hope you guys love what you see and inspire you to probably put up your own studio or make that corner in your room, whatever, into some kind of mini studio space so you could keep shooting and keep making videos just like me. Again, I just wanted to put a disclaimer out there I'm new to this whole vlogging thing, so the camera is probably gonna be a little shaky at times, so just bear with me. <laughs> I'm super excited to show you guys this video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you love what you see so far. If you haven't already, make sure to hit down that subscribe button so you can see more awesome video from me. So I'm ready to show you guys my studio. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I want to get into with you guys is my gear so what kind of gear do I use my lighting camera pretty much everything so uh, the camera I used I actually got on uh, B and H which uh, by the way I linked everything that I pretty much use to shoot and edit down below in the video so if you guys want to check that out later but going into my gear the camera I use is a Canon EOS uh, Rebel T5i which I actually got as a bundle and came with a kit lens so the kit lens was an 18 to 55 um, millimeter lens which is I mean it's a kit lens it was good at first but then I kind of outgrew that and I got another lens which is a Canon um, 24 to 105 f4l lens which is a little bit bigger and i mean i'm not really a photography and lens person but um the lens is actually pretty good and that's pretty much what i used to shoot now i still use the kit lens the 18 to 55 but um i use this uh the 24 to 105 more so uh aside from my camera and all that stuff i also use different lights so um Starting now, you know, you're not about to buy like expensive kind of lights, right? So I just got uh, like some pretty decently priced lights on Amazon. Um, I think it was a Studio FX uh, 2400 watts continuous uh, soft box light. As you guys can see, this is actually um, the lights that I use to shoot all my videos. And a couple of months ago, I noticed that, you know, my videos were kind of dark a little bit. So I added another light which was this. So this is a freaking lifesaver. I'm telling you, this light is pretty good. Um, this is the Aperture Amaran AL520AW uh, Daylight LED Floodlight. Now that's a mouthful, but this thing is pretty good. So I also use this to shoot sometimes when, you know, my basement is kind of dark because it gets pretty dark in here. So I also use this to shoot sometimes um, just to brighten things up a little more. So I've gone into my camera with you guys and I've gone also into my lighting system. And um, I guess I could also talk about the mic that I use. I also got my mic off Amazon. I think it was like an Aspen mic. I, like I said, I linked everything for you guys down below. So um, I guess we're gonna be moving to where the magic happens. <laughs> So this is pretty much where the magic happens. Now this is my ever so um, <laughs> dingy but wonderful table. Now this table is freaking awesome. Like it's probably even gone through a lot. Like look at all these spots that I probably can't take out. But it kind of adds character to the table. This is pretty much where I shoot all my videos on this table. And I prop my uh, camera up up here and these points right here. I got this from Home Depot, by the way, and I actually was just gonna use that to kind of store all my equipment, as you guys can see, but uh, it ended up turning out to be like something that I could actually put my camera up to, so that was kind of cool. So this is pretty much where I shoot all the um, table stuff that you guys see in my videos, and right there, over there, is uh, my uh, voiceover mic that I use. I think it is the Snowball Ice. Like I said, I linked everything down below, and um, 
this is pretty much where I iron. So it is kind of connected to my table that I showed you guys before. Uh, this is where I do all my pressing and everything. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the iron that I've linked to you guys. This iron, I trust me, it is freaking amazing. It's linked down below for you guys if you guys wanna check that out. But this iron is freaking amazing. <laughs> um, and as you guys can see, this is also the ironing board I use. This thing has been through hell and back. <laughs> but it's still surviving, so this is what I use to iron all my uh, stuff as well. Um, so just moving on into the other section of my studio. Uh, this is pretty much where everything happens. Now, as you guys can see, I have my fancy chair, my Ikea fancy chair. <laughs> I'm pretty sure almost everything here is actually from Ikea. That table is from Ikea. Uh, this table right here that I put um, my old tool machine and all my tools and everything that I'm actually gonna be going into later on in the video. But this is pretty much where everything happens. So I'm just gonna sit back on my fancy chair and it's super comfortable. But <laughs> this is pretty much where everything happens. This is my sewing machine now. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this on all my video. I use the Juki sewing machine, which is a D DDL 8700. This machine is freaking awesome. I've had it for um, a couple of months now, I think almost a year. So every time I sew, I have my serger right beside me. Now, this gives me kind of a really cool, easy transition. Like you could sew and you could just go over here and surge whatever you need to surge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure not everybody has a serger, but these are actually pretty good. My serger is a Singer Pro Finish and I've had this for like years now and it still works pretty good. So, um, Thank you, Singer. This was a really, really good investment. Moving on. Yeah, I'm not getting up. So moving on, uh, this is kind of my um, work area slash where I put all my uh, craziness, like whatever tools I need, like my pens, my scissors. And I call this kind of like the knickknack um, station because I have everything from my scissors to my rulers, to my pens, to my chalk, to the pins obviously to my bobbins, which is a mess right now, by the way, I need to clean that up. But um, I pretty much put everything here. But one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was this. Now, this was my first ever sewing machine. As you guys can see, it is the brother, the brother Project Runway sewing machine. Now, I would tell you, like, I was super excited to have this thing. Like. You don't even understand, like it has like 99 stitches. Now this thing was freaking awesome. Like I was so excited to have it. I was like trying all the different stitches out when I first got it. And um, it was actually a way for me to kind of learn how to sew. I know some of my viewers still have home sewing machines. Like keep your home sewing machine. Like I never got rid of mine because I actually still go back and use it because it has things that my uh, industrial sewing machine does not have. So um, I use it to like, so buttonholes or if I even want to do any of these fancy stitches that are up here like I always use this sewing machine so this is my paper station this is pretty much where I do all the fancy dances and pictures taking and all that stuff in my video so uh, it's pretty much nothing fancy it's just propped up in my doors and I have my lights going in that direction or whatever direction I'm facing and taking whatever image at the moment. But yeah, this is this is pretty much where all the shenanigans you see in my video, this is pretty much where it happens. And on my right, I have a couple of chairs and a table for people that come see me, which is nobody. <laughs> so these chairs are practically empty like all the time. But to my left, is a different thing. Oh my God, see me in the mirror, can you guys see me? <laughs> to my left is actually um, where I put a lot of um, uh, stuff that I've already done, like a lot of creative ideas that most of you guys have seen. I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys already seen this bad boy over here, which is the um, faux fur jacket I made a couple of months ago, the gloves I made, um, the track pants video, 
Yep, that stuff is all here. <laughs> the patch skirt I also made and pretty much like almost everything I've pretty much ever made, I guess. Like I have so many garments in this bag just alone. Like that's crazy. And of course I also have this uh, fancy mirror <laughs> that you guys saw me uh, at earlier. I also have this, oh my God, the mirror is not that um, clean by the way. Sorry about that guys, this is my life. So I have a semi-clean mirror and that's where I talk to myself half of the time. So <laughs> one thing I also wanted to mention, I can't believe I forgot. Uh, this is the pink background you guys always see in my video, yeah. This is pretty much where I shoot all my intros and outros. As you guys see, it's like a different color from the rest of the walls. I actually changed that color um, a couple of months ago just to give a little variety in the studio. That is pretty much a tour of my crazy, crazy small studio. So if you guys are planning on setting up a little studio as well, I mean, don't hesitate to do it. Your space doesn't have to be too big or too small. All you gotta do is just get the right size table, the right size chairs, the right size everything. Like the only thing that's probably not gonna be the right size are these freaking lights. Now, these things hit me in the head like almost every day. I mean, they're everywhere. They're like literally, everywhere so that's probably the only thing that's going to be making your studio look a little junky but aside from that no matter how small your space is like go ahead set up whatever you got to set up to start doing youtube or just to start being creative period so i really hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the sweating studio um if you guys did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and i also want to hear what you guys thought about this video so make sure to scroll down and leave a couple of words and comments about this video as well and if you do have workstations out there set up already i kind of want to see what they look like so make sure to tag me in all your photos on instagram at damiadinakx or just simply send your photos to me i'm also excited to see those as well i thank you guys for sticking through it with me throughout the tour of my crazy 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 studio and the shaking of the camera half the time <laughs> so i thank you guys for sticking through this video with me if you haven't subscribed already make sure to scroll down and hit down that red subscribe button so you can see more awesome and crazy videos from me and i hope to catch you also so addicts next week <laughs> hey awesome people welcome to another episode <laughs> oh my god this thing hurts don't vlog it hurts to hold the camera how do people do this <sighs> okay